Today I'm going to show you how to take some graphite and do a little bit of dry brushing with it. So I've got as your regular powdered graphite and I got a little container here and I just put some graphite in there and I take a paintbrush and I've got these side frames from this Proto 2000 GP7. This is another one of those uh, club models that I'm helping them out by doing a little maintenance for them on it. And I want to give these trucks just a tiny touch of extra detail. And what you can do, first I, I painted it, you can either do black primer or I did Rust-Oleum camouflage black because it's super matte finish and this stuff will grab onto it. I just take some on my brush and then I just dry brush it on and you'll see almost right away that it starts to highlight edges and make them look like steel and it's a pretty good effect and it's really easy to do anybody can do this and it doesn't break the bank either and it's not terribly messy if as long as you keep it in the bowl I'm just giving it a little get the little metal sheen I don't usually put a dust effect on them I kind of don't care for that I like it to be kind of like that I don't know how, how much difference you can see here here's an untouched one and here is the one See that? There's the untouched one. It just catches light a little bit and gives it kind of a neat little effect. And then if I want to, I can take some, some panel liner here. And I can just put it in a couple of spots where I want it to appear that grease has attracted dirt and grime. Just like that. And that's that's all I want to do to this. I'm all, I don't want to go overboard. I just want to do a simple graphite touch. Let's try a fuel tank. Same thing. Painted the fuel tank with camouflage black. I'm going to take some graphite and get it on there. Just brush it around a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to start to smooth it out. First I'll go sideways and I'll catch some edges. Okay, then once I got that, then I want to go down and catch these down edges. And I catch these air tanks a little bit and their pipes. little bit of a metallic effect very simple to do and it dresses it up just a little bit we don't have to go overboard and and as you know I don't like rust buckets I like them to be I like them to be sharp and by sharp that means there are you can see edges and you can see details that are already here. And just like that, that's the effect I get. A pretty neat little metal effect, so that's going to look really nice. That's all there is to it. Simple, simple little graphite brush.